Well, right now, lights are still out for thousands of people across the Bay Area, and it really has been a waiting game to get that power back on. Oh, my goodness, a test of their patience. Today in the Bay's Ginger Kanahara Samp, live in Daly City this morning, where some are still in the dark there. Are we getting any updates from pg &E? We are getting those updates to Laura and Marcus. PG&E calling last Sunday's storm the strongest single day storm to ever hit their service area. Now that being said, they are moving forward with getting the lights back on as this neighborhood in Daly City has seen improvements. We were out here yesterday uh, where more people, when more people were still experiencing some outages. Nonetheless, there is still lots of work to be done because more than 12,000 PG&E customers are still without power days after that heavy storm. Now, the North Bay has especially been hit hard. Several days later, hundreds of customers in Sonoma County have been trying to get by without heat, lights, and in some cases, without water. In a rural area in Sonoma County, PG&E crews actually had the power back up. But then yesterday afternoon, a car slammed into a power pole and the power went out once again, meaning no electricity and for some, no water. Almost all the houses around here are on wells, um, so most houses have uh, a water tank. Um, but if the pump goes out for the well, then some places can be in trouble. Now, the latest numbers from PG&E this morning, they do show progress. From 15,000 last night down to 12,000 PG&E customers without power this morning. Now, we were just talking about the North Bay. Over 8,000 customers there are still waiting for the lights to be turned on again. And along the peninsula, 1,600. Less than 3,000 customers down in the South Bay are without electricity. Now, I'm going to switch gears a bit. Take a look at this sinkhole in San Francisco. It caused some headaches on the roads yesterday. It opened up near the intersection of 14th and Guerrero. That's in the Mission District. Public works crews say the hole is about eight feet deep, but they aren't sure if it was triggered by the weather. We'll wait to hear more on that. Now, PG&E says that their latest numbers uh, not only include storm outages, but also new ones. And if you are without power for more than 48 consecutive hours, then you are eligible uh, automatically to get a credit on your uh, bill, on your PG&E bill. That will happen within 60 to 90 days, and you can actually get a credit from $25 up to $100. You can also file for reimbursements on the PG&E website for things like if your food uh, went bad because the power was out. So those are things to really uh, look into if you are if you've been struggling these past days. Marcus and Laura.